Hey, what's going on guys? Hayden here bringing you another tutorial, and uh, this tutorial will be a Photoshop tutorial on how to make gradient maps in the uh, gradient overlay selection. So, you can make, uh, so, gradients, if you don't know, is basically, if I check this, it, uh, you know, half is like black, and the middle's gray, and it's white, top's white, so like, this is a gradient. I'm going to teach you how to make nice looking gradients that you could have on uh, wallpapers like something like uh, mm, oh, like this or something like that it would be an example like that. I'm going to teach you how to make some of these so uh, yeah let's get started. So right off the bat you can see scale, angle, style, opacity, gradient itself, blend mode, a uh, dither re and reverse um, and line with layer so uh, right off the bat we're probably just going to uh, click that and uh, you're probably going to have your basic selection here but uh, we're just going to be messing with this thing down here so uh, let's double click on this little black square thing here and uh, we're going to set it something around the lines of here uh, if you want to use these exact colors, just put in these coord coordinates, and I'll give you this. So uh, this color, so perfect. And um, let's see. You. To add another square here, just click it again, and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna have this one kind of right here. We're gonna have a. Oh, a lighter one and we're just gonna drag it more over here and uh... sorry what this thing does is it uh... Um, so a black thing right here if i drag it all the way right here you could see the uh... the like the line that like changes the gradients so like you just want to kinda have a try and get it where the line isn't showing too much so you're having a nice blend so something around the lines there and uh, we're just gonna get one in the middle now and uh, this will be a much lighter one uh, well actually now we're going to get a different color so maybe a so we got a green a type of group something like this I like that somewhere around the lines of this maybe and uh, we're just going to duplicate this over to this so I'm just going to leave that so you just gonna click this boom drag it right here uh, try and get location here is 26 50. No. Okay. Anyway, so I'm just gonna move this like that, like so. Kind of have it in the same area where uh, these are. So actually, I need it like this. Click this. Do this. Boom. And delete this white. Oops. I'm just going to put it over here. I'm going to delete this. And then you want to click it again, boom, like that. Okay. I'm just gonna delete this. Okay, there we go. And uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna make these a little bigger. And uh, so now that you have your like grade in here, you can just keep messing around and add as many of these boxes boxes here as you want um, you can change the smoothness around uh, kinda you know mess with this a little bit in the if you want to save this gradient like these just uh, name it for example green slash blue and then put new and then it's gonna come in right here so like this and you have your gradient and uh, if you want to delete a gradient you just right click this go delete gradient and there you go 
So, uh, if you're wondering what, how does this help me in Photoshop exactly? Well, gradients, they help because uh, you can make cool wallpapers with them. So, get a nice angle, so something like this maybe. Or you could like, you know, like this for example. This is a cool gradient. You could add your textures, add your text to make this a pack, you know? And you could like make it a stock pack or something like that. 3D pack, but it has a nice like look to it. A nice like three, a uh, nice gradient look. You just gotta kind of mess with these gradients a little bit. This one's really simple. I just change the colors and then you just change the angle. Uh, here, you know, I have a darker. These ones are kind of basic, darker and then brighter. This is a cool, nice little yellow one. This is a nice one as well, but. You got your some default ones. Uh, I wouldn't really use these unless you like them. You could use it as a template, change the colors, and then like edit it a little bit. But uh, that'll be all for this tutorial, guys. Uh, sorry, it was a little quick one, but uh, it's definitely a helpful one. So um, look forward to the next one. Next one, I might do a style tutorial again, like I did my gel style. I'll make another style and then do a tutorial on how to make it. But uh, anyway. Whew. Peace, guys. I'm out.